Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today what we're going to do is using white school glue as gel medium. Now, I did a video about this about 2012 or so, 2013, um, but we are redoing it because we are in 2018. Sorry if you hear Emily uh, coughing. She's still coughing. I'm um, going to call into the doctor. We're going to see uh, if they could advise anything. So we've tried everything. I appreciate you guys leaving, you know, lemon and honey and all that kind of stuff. We have tried everything. I just think it's just a long cold. Now I think that I'm getting it, Dave's getting it, but let's continue on. Okay. So I already did a piece just to show you. Uh, and I used the white school glue. It's completely dry. Okay. I am not going to peel it off, uh, like I would for transferring because if you watched my, how to transfer using, uh, white school glue, uh, Mod Podge, Mod Podge paper, Mod Podge mat, Mod Podge paper, which I'll link at the end of this video and down below. Um, you saw that we did this, but we didn't want to leave it too, too long. Cause when you go to peel it up, it, uh, either dries like this or it doesn't adhere. It, it's very weird, but I will put that, you go check it out. Um, so I did this dry. So I'm going to show you again with the tissue paper, how I did it. And I'm going to show you with a piece of scrapbook paper. Now, of course, you can use anything you want um, to glue on. I mean, you can use it for, I don't know, fabric, whatever, whatever, whatever. But these are just two little things. This is tissue paper, Avi, and then this is this. So I'm going to do, I'm move this little boy over. And I have my glue, and I'm going to go like a squirt. And I'm going to do a little extra because I'm going to do both of them. Now, can you squ squirt this into a plastic bottle or a squeezy or something? Of course you can make it much easier for yourself to mix it. And then, you know, when you go to use it, oh gosh, Cal, you can, you know, shake it up and then use it and it's already mixed. It is totally up to you what you want to do now. Make sure you don't put too, too much water because if you put too, too much water, it won't stick. So I like to go sometimes half and half, sometimes a little, uh, 40, how you say 60, I was going to say 40, 50, but then where's the other 10% go? That's what's in my brain. That's all I have today is 10%. So I take my squirty bottle and I just seven, seven squirts. I don't know why only seven, but. And then I go in with a damp brush, but you can see the water going around it. And then I pull it all in. Jeez, oh, pizza. This, uh, I did this stuff. Now I'm going to show you, this is going to be a little too thin. Obviously what we do, we had more glue. Um, this is what I lived on, not lived on physically, but using in my art journals when I first started was white school glue all those years ago, because that's all I had when the kids were in school. Um, if money was tight, I would use this. That's how I started doing it. Oh, you got to open it, Keller. It won't work. And then I'm just going to do maybe quarter size, maybe a 50 cent size, half dollar. I don't know. Can y'all see? Yeah. Yeah. You can see. You'll just add, you, you want it to be a nice consistency. Like I said, you don't want to, um, where do I want to say jeopardize the stickiness or what it can do. Now you see, this is very thin. It's like milk. I want a little bit thicker, but we're almost there. And remember this dries clear. So, you know, does this open more? Yeah, there we go. So I'm going to do another quarter size. That will be good. Yeah. You can make it thicker though. Like I said, you can do 50, 50 or, less water than 50. It's up to you. And I always like to take my brush and hear it banging it down both sides. So I get all that extra product out and I pull back to the middle again because I want to make sure it's all mixed. Okay. So there you go. That nice, delicious puddle. Okay. So I just have a piece of scrap of paper. Uh, I mean, uh, art journal paper that I guess I did markers on. I can't recall. And I'm going to lay this down. And then I'm going to lay that down and then I'm going to go over it. Okay. All right. 
that is that. And we'll, we'll leave it go and I'll hit it with my dryer and then we shall see how it comes out, which I know how it's going to come out. It's going to come out like that and it's delicious because I love doing it. Now I'm going to take my scrapbook paper and I'm going to just cut a little square because I'm going to be using this for a uh, canvas. I'm too lazy to get out of my chair and go find a different page. And this is just scrapbook paper, regular scrapbook paper. I always tell you guys, go to your local craft stores, whatever you have around you, and go clearance shopping, especially in the paper because, and look, I'm just going to do this, and then I'm going to go over it. Do you have to go over it? No. I like to, though. Even if I use Mod Podge sometimes, the mat, I will. Okay. There we go. Now, what do you do with the rest of that? Well, if I had a bottle here and I was going to start doing it, I would scrape it up and put it in the bottle to save. Um, actually, I am. I finally finished my golden titanium white. So what I want to do is, um, I had it upside down because you know how it all drips. Uh, I want to rinse it out and then put some of the glue in here just to have, because sometimes I like using it, but I do enjoy my Mod Podge, as you all know. Okay, so we got that. Now, do not forget to clean your brush because... Um, the glue will dry and what will happen, you will destroy a brush like Kelly does probably once a week, twice a week, maybe three times, depending on the medication. So here we go. And I'm just drawing it. And what I did was I took the glue over like on the paper, just so you can kind of see that it will still dry clear. Like if I did it on here, you know, it's still going to be clear, but you can see. And it does not affect. But wait. I will show you one more thing. Oh, did I not grab it? Yeah, I did grab it. And I'm just giving it a quick, you know, dry with my heat gun. Now, if you don't have a heat gun, use a hair dryer. If you don't have your hair dryer, go to your local thrift store, Goodwill. You can get them a couple bucks. They work fantastic. And you can even plug them in at the our Goodwill at least and see if it works. And um, use that. Why not? Right. And if not, literally leave this sit for five, maybe 10 minutes on a good, you know, it's a little humid here. So um, and then it'll be fine. So you don't always have to have a heat gun, a hair dryer, you know, that's no big deal. So the next thing I was gonna talk about while these just finished up is Okay, so we have a clear, lovely, clear is fan, still needs a little bit more, clear, that one's dry, that must not have concentrated on there, clear is delicious, clear is, hey, let me put that clear down, clear, this could become a, um, it's a gel medium, but if you add a little bit of uh, white to it, or you add a little bit of brown, and I'm just going to do a little ploop, I think this might be shook, but I, I can't shake today. I'm sorry. Hopefully it just doesn't ploop out ploopy. You know what I'm saying? Okay, just a little, see that? A little ploop. And then go in. And if you want it darker, by all means, make it darker. Put more, a little bit more in. Put a little black. Put a little red. Put whatever color you want. But I'm going to just show you this real quick. Okay, remember, do your brush because you really want to make sure you get everything out of it. Okay, that's what I think. I'm a mixed media artist. So if somebody who's teaching something else on the internet that you watch says don't do that, and they're an acrylic artist or a watercolor artist, take heed to that. I don't know. I'm a mixed media artist, and what I do is destroy things. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take it. And I'm just this because it's dry. That's why I'm doing it. But look what you can do. You can make it grungy, right? Like you uh, had a maybe an old. Now you can make it darker with the brown, but or maybe a little bit black. Let's try a little bit of black over top of the brown. Um, you know, you can. But you see how cool that is. And how different it looks. Oh, come on, Ploop. I think you're going to be too much. Come on, just kiss it. Just kiss it. All right, that's not a kiss. 
that is a good old squirt. Okay. Now the you know the color that you add in is going to be what you get. So a little bit gray. I'm okay with that. So I'm just going to do it over here. Well, maybe I'll do it here. Now you see how opaque that is. That's because we have um, you know a couple colors in there. But if you do this, things I love in my life. There's nothing better than texture and what have you. We can look at this. You can make a really cool pattern. Look at that. It'll dry and you have this deliciousness right there. And if you want it, you know, take a different brush. Let me see. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to drag it out a little bit. You get a little bit of texture, but look at that. Look how Cool. Look at that. So, I mean, beautiful, gorgeous. And then you just go dry it. I have a habit. This is what I do. Right? Oh, yeah, you do it, baby. You go, girl. And then it doesn't dry anything. You gotta, like, Especially if you're using a heat gun, if you want to move it, but keep it in the same area, you're not drawing anything. And the heat gun, you don't need it if you don't emboss or anything like that. I mean, if you get a good price on one, by all means. But, you know, you don't want to hold it too close. It'll burn it. Oh, I love that. Let me just show you when I'm done here. Okay, let me show you. Dry, dry. Look how cool this part came out. Do you see? That was just a little bit of brown in that white school glue. It's completely dry. Hear it? That's dry too. Yeah, we're all dry. Okay, but you see that beautiful tinge you get? Come on now. Tell me that doesn't make you excited. Now, this is obviously the black because we just did it. I don't need to narrate everything, but I like to for myself because I'll go back and be like, oh, what was this on here? Look, I'll dry and look at the two difference to the, the difference in the two pieces. Okay. Okay. Now, this is the scrap of paper. Completely fine. It dried clear. You can still see what's coming through. This is the tissue paper. I'm a tissue paper freak. I'm talking, I go to the dollar store. I don't care. You got uh, hats on it. You got balls on it. You got whatever you like, whatever you want. Plain silver. I love it all. I have so much tissue paper that it's a shame and I love it. And I take out of boxes that Emily gets like from thread up or wherever she buys from. And uh, I think she bought something from Jeffree Star and like, it has this really great paper and I'm like, I'll take it. Um, cause, because I love using that in the mixed media, but anyway, that's another, that's another thing. So yeah. So look how awesome that is. Awesome. And of course you can go and do the same thing. I like using the two brushes. You don't have to, um, you know, let's see, let's do it like here because it has wrinkles. I love the wrinkles, how it catches in it. And then when you see all those wrinkles there, you know, really put those wrinkles in there and then give it a second and then we will wipe it. But I mean, look at this. I'm just pulling. I gave it a second to dry and look what's happening. And if you don't want to use two brushes, listen, you don't have to. Why is the light? Oh dear, the sun. Um, you don't have to. All you'll do is once you put on what you're putting on, right? Why? Why? Because it's wet. It's giving it a little glare. Uh -huh. um, once you put it on, rinse your brush. Okay, it doesn't have to be clean, clean. Dry it a little bit like this. And then you can go and use this if you don't want to use a new brush, right? And if you need a little bit more water on it to lift, by all means. Okay. And there you go. So look, I'm putting in, I mean, even more grungier. 
Oh my God. Life is so good with art. I can't stand it. I don't care what kind of art you do. Look, look, look. All right. I got to quit playing because people are going to be like, it's too long. Look how cool. Okay. So, so much, so much fun to do. And if you want, you could squirt that. Go ahead, wipe it a little bit. You want some of that pink to come through? I mean, just think about it. Look how fun. This is why it's cool glue, people. Okay. So I'm going to show you one more thing that I'm very excited about. I've been playing with resin like insane um, because I want to come up with my own jewelry kind of stuff uh, the way I like it. So I did this for Emily. I'm going to put my autofocus on, see if it'll help help with things. So I made this as a pendant. Hello, autofocus. Look at that, how cool. So it's kind of like the galaxy behind it. Is it though? I don't know because it's not autofocusing. A little bit like that. A little bit like, are we going to autofocus any day? What is the issue? What is the issue? It's driving me bananas. Going right in. I'm going right in. I'm so upset. This is so gorgeous. Why? Will this make a difference? <laughs> no. Maybe a little light. Look at that. Oh, god damn it. Look. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. My poor daughter. Sound like the doctor just called that. Okay. Anyway. And anyway, the back. So I'm gonna make it into a pendant. And uh, I am in love. This goes to there we go. This goes to Emily first. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love it. Oh, I think it's gorgeous. And then the other thing I did was I backed this with some green. Um, what the heck was this? I don't even know what it was. It's sitting over there, but it's my lighter. But this is so cool. I wish you could really see it. So I'm into doing this. It's, it's my life. I've had uh, so much fun doing it. And honestly, uh, I need to find things to do <laughs> because if not, I'm going to go insane. Now I appreciate the donation, you know, the PayPal that you guys have done. I appreciate, uh, if you've bought something from my site, I really appreciate the help. You have no idea. Um, and I'm not going into a sad sob story. I'm just saying I appreciate it. And, uh, it, it makes me overjoyed. It makes me cry because it's just very nice. It's very nice. So thank you very much. And I don't like to say names because I think, you know, I will email you guys. So you guys get a proper thank you. So as always, I'm sorry. I am all over the place. As always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Do not get hung up on the fact that my autofocus is on. Do not get hung up on the fact that you don't have Mod Podge. You don't have blah, blah, blah. You don't have golden. You don't have whatever. Um, you can work around it. Yes, some products might not be as opaque or this or that, but let me tell you something, and this is just not me blowing smoke. A lot of these craft uh, paints, especially I work with folk art, but a lot of these craft paints, um, are coming around. They're catching up. It's almost like the makeup world, which I am so obsessed with the makeup world. Um, it's almost like that where like drugstores becoming competitive with the high end. Like you don't have to go and spend drugstore prices on makeup and walk away like, Oh, it has no pigment. Oh, it has no color. Do you know what I'm saying? Compared to something in the, I'm just calling me Miss Hands today. Um, but you, Miss Hangy, Miss Han, anybody, Miss Hangy, no, okay. Um, but you don't have to, you, you know what I mean? You don't have to always uh, do without. And like I said, they're coming up, paints are coming up and, you know, to try to at least be in competition somewhat with, uh, golden. So, you know, they use folk art, I'm sure, uh, deco art as well in folk art, um, in uh, how you say painting flowers and this and that. And I have a lot of things I've been writing down. What did I do with that? I'm trying to be out oh, in my thing. I'm trying to be more 
organized so I can write all these questions down and answer them and, and that kind of thing. So, uh, you know, I'm going to be answering some things coming up, but you know, it's, it's good. It don't, don't feel like you can't do it. You can. And guess what? I always tell you guys, I go, there's certain things in golden. I love, let me show you one of them. It's the airbrush medium. Now I love this. I don't use this on video often because you know, I know a lot of people can't afford it. Neither can I. But if you have a 50 off, sometimes uh, AC Moore and Michaels, they do 55% off. I take that bad boy and let's say I have an extra 10 bucks or 20 bucks or whatever. I'll take a coupon. I'll make Dave take a coupon. I'll make Emily take a coupon. How many, however much money I have. And I will go pick certain things to, um, to do. And I did that when I did the following um, Cinnamon Cooney's painting. Uh, she uses a certain kind of uh, brand and paints in that painting. And I had some of them, but I needed like zinc white. Well, let me tell you something funny. I've never used zinc white before. I've never used it. I love it. I love it because it's a different kind of, you know, vibe than titanium. Um, so therefore, it's not going to go to waste for me. Um, but I did use a coupon. I did not go and just buy them nilly, willy nilly and throw them. I mean, I made sure that I had a coupon um, to do it. And I used Dave's birthday money. <laughs> so you know what I mean? There's ways around that. But if not, like I said, folk art, I love it. I use it all the time. And Martha Stewart, I'm so in love. I'm going to have to get more of this. The Martha Stewart uh, satin. This is multi-surface, so it can go on gloss, uh, wood, canvas, paper, whatever. And this is like everything. So, you know, I mean, and you can still, let me tell you, you can still use a coupon for these. Don't worry. Do your Roy G. Biv black, white, and you're good to go. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to give you a little talk and uh, a little kind of thing there. But I love you guys so very much. And I really hope you guys have a fantastic day. And if you guys do this, let me know how you make out. I love when you guys tag me. All my social media is down below. Um, so you can find me practically everywhere. Even if you don't want to, I'm there. I love you guys. Progress, not perfection. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye, guys.